It's a new era for Nigerians Apex Bank as President Bola Tunubu has approved the nomination of Dr. Olayemi Kadoso as the new governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria for a term of five years at the first instance, pending his confirmation by the Senate. The president also approved the nomination of four new deputy governors of the CBN for a term of five years at the first instance, pending their confirmation by the Senate. Before Cardoso's nomination, Fola uh, Shodun at DBC uh, Shunobi had been in charge of the APS Bank in an acting capacity following his appointment by President Bola Tunubu. As you have Justice and Nia with me, uh, uh, let me come to you, uh, Justice. Uh, much is known uh, and have been said about Mr. Cardoso and his impressive profile, but in your opinion, what are your expectations in his new role, and especially as it affects or regards to um, monetary uh, policy? For him to hit the ground running as fast as possible, and I'm happy that uh, he's, he's the, the third of the trial that has now been put in place. Uh, with the trial, I mean uh, the finance minister, the current uh, finance minister, and the current FRS chairman that was, that was put in, in place this this weekend, Mr. Zakari Deji. So Mr. Cardoso is now in place. I feel that those triad, as, as fast as possible, they should hit the ground running to solve our forex problems, to solve the general structure of our economy, to, to solve the, the, the import, export, the productivity of our economy, the manufacturing sector, so that as much as possible, we, we, we stop our dependence on on the foreign, uh, foreign exchange market. So if you can put this in place fast, I, I must also say as a rider that I don't expect him to perform miracles mm. in, the, in, his, uh, in his first days in office or in the first months, but there should be strong signals of where he's going, strong directions of where he's going. For, for the first time in a long time, our economy should be going in a particular direction. And I'm very, very happy that the president, too, is in the finance space, the economic space, and he has had opportunities that he didn't squander. So the four of them, and the fact that they are bent on making this work, I think that we will have something that will, that will make Nigerians at least laugh. All right, Nayi, let's also delve into the escalated inflation rate. What potential strategies or uh, policies might the new CBN governor implement to address inflation and stabilize the economy? What do you think? Uh, first, I think he has to build confidence. Uh, and um, they need to resolve the escalating, you know, foreign uh, exchange crisis. Uh, it's going um, a bit south. And the fact that the caliber of the people that have been saddled with the responsibility is something that should assure Nigerians that there will be some degree of confidence in the economy. Uh, Yemi Cardoso is coming from a robust uh, public and private sector experience, and these people have been tested in Lagos, and they are at the national state to do the same. Uh, before now, we used to have both the fiscal and the monetary policy at parallel levels. Uh, there is going to be certain appreciable harmonization at the federal level now, and that should, should work. And productivity, too, will increase. Uh, it's important that the president now has seen or is working with people that, that have bought into his policies that have always been part of the campaign, part of the uh, development of the policy. And uh, they have an idea of how to quickly implement it and bring it to bear. Nigeria needs a lot of liquidity, reduce our foreign, uh, our foreign debts, and put us in a position where, you know, we can have uh, appreciable income and be able to reduce our debts, both local and foreign, so that we're in a position to bring down the level of inflation, inflation and our people can, you know, take the benefit of finally a government that has hit the ground running. Uh, when the president came into power, a lot of things he changed immediately. And you can see that slowly they are beginning to work. Uh, now we have a lot of savings, and there are monies, a lot of money being devolved to the state and local government 
that will improve productivity. It will increase the capacity of you know the average Nigeria to purchase goods. And there are a lot of you know confidence has been built everywhere. And intervention, even in their daily life and you know income, so that has helped a lot in in bringing up the capacity of the Nigerians to to purchase and reduce to a degree the impact of some Randy, of these policies. I'm sorry to the, cut you on, in. On the I'm, I'm I'm sorry to. I just want to find out from you. Do you think that there is potential bottleneck at the uh, CBN leadership that the new governor should be careful or aware mm -hmm. of in solving? No. No, 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 no. In fact, hey, a lot of those bottlenecks are being removed now. Mm. Don't forget that there is someone currently auditing the CBN. And each time there is an issue, the issue is promptly resolved. The you know, investigations are being carried out. The man that has been appointed is capable. Uh, and the laws of the land protect the CBN governor and empowers him to be able to take far-reaching decisions. And I don't see any bottleneck that he can't deal with immediately. And he has the support of the presidency to rise to the occasion, work in tandem with the Ministry of Finance and all other, you know, stakeholders in the financial sector to quickly resolve whatever issues that, you know, we envisage right now or that it might come across when he resumes office. Right, I don't me. see any bottleneck that he cannot resolve, he right. resolve immediately. All right. Thank you very much. I would have loved to get your own point of view about this bottleneck, but we have to go right now. Thank you, gentlemen. It's my pleasure. I've been pleasure. speaking with uh, Niyi Saliu and Justice Ojinu, uh, uh, political lawyer and a political analyst. That's uh, Niyi Saliu. Thank you very much for coming, gentlemen. My pleasure. And as well, thank, thank you, you for being... For Thank you for being part of the show. And, uh, you know, you can join the conversation on our social media platform at TVC News NG on our website at TVCNews.tv. I am Jacinta Agochuku. Until next week, it's goodbye.